In this brief demo, I'll be showing you how you can use Kasten K10 to protect virtual machines running on Red Hat OpenShift. In our OpenShift console, we've already installed the OpenShift virtualization operator and have a single Red Hat 8 virtual machine running MongoDB in the App1 namespace. Looking at the rest of my App1 resources, in addition to my virtual machine, we see a deployment running a web front end for my database. And this is gonna give us a view into the application that we've not yet had an opportunity to re-platform. So moving over to the K10 dashboard, we see all of the application namespaces discovered on our cluster. And we'll start by creating a cast and policy for app one. We'll use the default hourly snapshots and enable exports to ship a copy of our backup offsite. With no other changes, we're ready to save and then run our policy. All right, so I think this policy is just about ready to pull it out of the oven. Uh, so a few minutes later, our backup is completed, and here we can see all of the Kubernetes resources we've protected with K10. And that includes my RHEL 8 virtual machine. So next up, let's restore our application to another namespace. And this same approach would apply to an in-place restore or even migrating to an entirely different OpenShift cluster. But here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new namespace called App1 Clone. K10 will automatically apply necessary changes to the virtual machine objects manifest, such as removing the original MAC address. So all that's left for us to do is click Restore. And after just a few seconds, we see that our restore operation has completed. So if we go over to our OpenShift console, we can see that our RHEL 8 VM is already up and running in our App1 clone namespace. And here we see that the rest of our application, including our front end deployment, was restored to our clone namespace as well. Kasten K10 enables backup, disaster recovery, and application mobility for your Kubernetes workloads, which apparently now includes virtual machines. So if you're interested in trying K10 for yourself, visit the link on screen to access a free license for up to five nodes. Thanks for watching.